Hey there, DC fans. This is JR369. Welcome back for another brand new video review. Today I'll be taking a look at the at the Batman Returns Catwoman figure by Kenner. Today I'll be honoring the Throwback Thursday, so happy Throwback Thursday. Today I'll be taking a look at this figure. Now for the packaging wise, the packaging looks you can see it's you get a nice image of Catwoman here. You get the Batman Returns logo. You get a bat Catwoman's name, action figure, and it says with whipping arm action and taser gun. And also, you can see the window of the figure that exposes the figure and the accessories. On the side, on the back here, you get you get the image of the figure. It shows how is the the figures and the accessories work. And also, you get other figures in this line like Art Attack Batman. Our Air Attack Batman, Deep Dive Batman, Power Ring Batman, Thunder Whip Batman, Laser Batman, Robin. Why is Robin in the Batman Return set? I have no idea. I mean, Robin did not appear in Batman Returns until Batman Forever. Bruce Wayne Custom Gope changes Bat Bruce Wayne into Batman. That's actually the um, the one from the 1989 figure from the first Batman movie. Penguin, which is kind of different looking penguin, which because it's not really the penguin from the 19 Batman Returns penguin. It's actually one from the comics because Kenner didn't, will not make a penguin movie penguin figure because the character itself looks scary and violent. And of course, you get one of the penguins. That is accurate to the movie. And also you get the Penguin Umbrella Jet. Really no Penguin Duck Mobile. Batman Laser Blade Psycho. Batman Sky Blade. Robin Jet Foil. Sky Drop Airship. And of course you get the Wayne Manor. And other props and other stuffs, whatever. So that's about it for the box and the packaging. Now let's release Catwoman out of the box. Here we got Catwoman out of the box. Now take a look at the figure here. The likeness to Michelle Pfeiffer on the figure. Come on, focus. There we go. The likeness to Michelle Pfeiffer looks okay. I mean, she is wearing a mask the entire in the film. Well, most of the times where she is... Going out of crime, something like that. I mean, the likeness to her looks pretty okay. Now, the outfit is pretty pretty well done indeed. I mean, the outfit on her looks pretty well done. You can see some of the stitches on the uh, the outfit, stitches all over the outfit here, and the mask too. The stitches on the neck area as well. I really wish the stitches are painted white. Like in the movie. And also, it's, you can see the little strings on here. Uh, the legs there, you can see like the stitches on the legs right here. Uh, no stitches on there. You can see some of the, the high heel boot laces there. Molded in, you get the high heels. And also on the back of her legs, you can see some illegal crap, all that stuff. And also no peggles in the bottom of the feet because I have no idea why. Also, without the peg holes, she'd probably be stand. She'd probably be fall off because of the high heels that she's wearing. Yep, definitely. There we go. There's, there we go. She can stand easily fine. Now for articulation, her head can go fully rotate, kind of. Arms go fully rotate. Well, not this arm because it has like the feature. And legs can go this side like that. I am in this weird position way. And that's about it. That's just 
a 5 POA figure. Hold on, I'm trying to get this figure to stand up. There we go. Kind of, yep. No, oh, nope. Yeah, that's, yeah, this is why we need a peg holes for this figure. Because it's really hard to stand. Now, for accessories, she does come with her whip here. Made out of a soft, flex, flex, flexible rubber. I mean, it can easily hit someone very easily. Because it's made out of real rubber. And it fits each of the hands here. And all you do is you lift her arm. You get the nice feature on on the... um. The whip here, the arm, it has like the nice feature. Yeah, pretty pretty cool. I think it looks great. And also for other accessories, it does came with well the packaging says it came with a taser, so this must be the taser. This looks nothing like the taser from the film. However, it just want to make it like kid friendly thing. And also it is wrapped around here, so I'm probably gonna use iron to make it like it's make it like it's straight enough it can fit easily on each of her hands you clip on the thing here and also I really like how this pointy thing looks like a taser so all you have to do is fire this missile like we want to aim it at towards Batman or Penguin there we go it shoots very fine but sometimes it won't stay there we go now overall I gotta say the figure is pretty good I mean it's not bad it's not that good it's just pretty good I mean it's not the best it's not the worst it's, it just looks so looks really good I mean the the I really like how Kenner captured the um the figure from the film I think the figure itself looks good. I really wish they have stitches on the white, color white on the stitches because it makes more accurate to the film. That would be cool. For the figure that's from like the 1991, I think this figure looks cool. I mean, in the film she is just wearing all black because of her cat. I mean, the, everything looks good. I mean, the likeness is okay, but the figure itself looks cool. I actually like it. Now, my rate on this figure, I'm going to give this figure a 6 out of 10. So, what do you think of this figure? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And that's about it. Make sure to tune in for new videos daily. Don't forget to turn on the bell icon to be notified of new videos after you subscribe. And of course, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both of the links will be in the description down below. This is JAR369, and goodbye.